Loki and I have almost moved to professional spray painters with cans. We've painted so many cars with cans before actually moving on to painting with guns. <laughs> now it almost like painting with cans in the it, it's gun paint. It's just the nicer. gratification <laughs> of the uh, aching finger. Yep. And the paint in the uh, skin and the toxicity. So what have you guys been up to with this today? You've just done the uh, obviously pressure wash of the engine bay? Yeah, we gave it a clean because it was filthy, but um, <laughs> we've just taken the subframe out, uh, built our new one which will house the sump a bit nicer, um, and I swear we did something else. Nice. So hopefully that'll cater for the new tr uh, the trans, but I might have to beat it a little more at the back end. Yep. Sweet. Then we made this, you can come see this. this is good. Yeah. New, what else you make? New bit. So I've just rocked up. Painting it. <laughs> Very That's nice. Newly modified crust member. So you guys have shortened this inside here? Uh, yeah, you just scalloped out. and cut out Actually, this for I mean, the uh, yeah. for the sump. Keep in mind we, we have car nuts on here, but we also have people that want to be car nuts, so we gotta be a bit more informative. Excellent. That gives you that what real skinnier. good shoe show. Before and after. So, up. so we're, we're allowing for more space for the sump to sit in the engine bay. Um, hopefully and push the motor a bit more back in the bay. That way we can get more weight behind the strut towers. And keep as much weight behind it as possible. A lot of people recommend the R154 or the CD. 009 instead. Yeah, but um, you're sticking with yours at 32 box. Yeah, RRS 530A, I think it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, the dilemma is that one, despite the CD009 being a huge gearbox, um, this one's mouth is a bit more round, so it takes up more room at the entrance, yeah, which is why you have to beat it. Very nice. We're building a motor for this thing. And I gotta get cracking on my engine bay. We're running out of light, but hey, working in the dark seems to be my forte, so. Went out and bought some new discs. So I was using those uh, solid hard discs, which if anyone's in painting or on a metal or fabricating or any of that, they probably would have just laughed at me last last vlog. But um, I got these guys now, which apparently are a lot better for doing what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to grind these guys down and flatten them and smooth them. We did a bit of it last time. I did primer these with some rust converter just to keep them safe. And you can see that it worked really well, actually. Like, look at that, it's all nice. Clean these guys up, weld in these guys, and uh, probably gonna drop this later, clean this up, rebuild the rack. Um, gotta do all that, I gotta pull my loom out still. This is just a big job, I have to pull the entire dash out, I gotta pull my gauges out. A lot of stuff has to come out of there, so I then get my carpet up to pull my carpet out, to put my other blue carpet in, and then keep going. But at the same time, I gotta pull all this out, and I have to wire the car, or rewire the car, with either a Link or a Haltech. I still haven't decided yet, and I don't know what I'm going. I wouldn't mind doing either, but I've just got to look at my options and get the car up to that stage first before I kind of really worry about what ECU I'm going to go with. <sighs> I miss driving this car so much. I just want to drive so bad. All my cars seem to be broken. <laughs> I miss you, 32. So I've been hinting, well not hinting, I've been letting you guys know that there was some slight discrepancies with the FD RX-7 uh, in the last couple of weeks. I probably haven't let on too much as to what's happening with that because I'm waiting out. I have to see how this person handles what they're doing. Um, but it's been a very disappointing thing uh, and I just hope it goes well. I hope it gets, I hope it's over really soon. I don't know if I've told you this or not. I'll just tell you again. I'm going to Japan. I want to move to Japan permanently in a couple of months. So I'm trying to get everything together. Now things like this, that's that won't change. Things like this, this won't change. So a couple of months down the track, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. I'm not good at planning, okay? I, I'm, I, I live in the moment. <laughs> so um, I'm aiming. I don't know if this is all gonna work out yet. It's all, it all depends financially and you know flights and finding a job. I need to find work in Japan. So I need to find uh, a job, whether it be part-time, full-time contract, whatever. I also gotta find a job over here for the next couple of months. So if you're local and you're looking for someone, 
hit me up. Yeah, that and go over and do a ton of driving, a ton of YouTubing and a ton of, I don't know, collabs and fun and experience and culture and so yeah, it has been a long time coming to get over there and I cannot wait. There is so much I want to do so if this channel does a little more than cars in the near future, I apologize. Sorry, not sorry, but I hope you enjoy it because there's so much I want to experience and I want to share it with you guys. Probably get some more cars over there might even import or export cars back to here. So, um, I will be coming back to Australia as much as I can so I can do content, uh, competitions, drifting, catch up, hangs, co more content. Just, I'll be floating around. I don't want to be tied down anywhere, but I do want to live in Japan. This is what they must mean when they say the wrong the wrong tool or the right tool for the job. So before I was using those really solid grinding discs. Did you get that? Yep. What are you doing? Keep going. What are you doing? What are you doing? You'll see. Uh, anyway, um, look! This thing does in like two seconds. It's amazing. What are you doing? Blocking your gigantic bright light from the camera. Well, just tell me to turn it <laughs> off. Now I've got to start again. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh my god, you're a mom. <laughs> it's called content. It's not good content. It's horrible content, as I'm sure they will tell you. Sorry for the bright light to the face. Anyway, <laughs> why didn't you tell me that? Oh. How did you not realize you were a walking I'm freaking at you. lantern? I'm looking at them, I'm not looking at this. Did you not see me squinting at you? No, I can just see you. I look at, okay, come here. Look at these glasses. You were about to get attacked by a giant moth you're that bright. A moth? Yes. Where? About the size of an albatross. Where? You ran away because you turned the light off. Can, can we just get back to what I'm doing, please? Come on. <laughs> get back here. I'm turning it on so they can see, so you can't see it from there. Look, now you can see it. It's beautiful. Look, it's so smooth and shiny. Um, yeah, no, this thing's amazing. That's freaking awesome. Should take no time at all. What are you looking at? Well, I'm trying to figure I out what you're you looking are the at. I swear, you are literally the worst camera. <laughs> I'm kind of a welder and I'm in the middle of welding, but someone's was, like, come on, I'm a camera. I can't hold a grinder and a camera at the same time. Anyway, I just wanted to borrow him for a second to show you guys what I'm doing. Let's talking more grinding. I would try, I'm saying we're gonna grind these down, but I just want to show you progress. This thing is amazing. It is a, uh, if you need to know, this one is a Z40. Uh, and then I have other grits. I put them somewhere. Well, grind okay. for them already. So yeah, I gotta go. Stop more. boring them. What? Grind. I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Okay, go away, thank you. No, grind so I can show them. Oh, okay. Watch me grind. <laughs> Two of the worst examples to show you. Why are you down back there? Because I was zoomed. Oh I was enhanced. So, can you see me now? Yes. What if I do this? No. Wait, what if <laughs> Definitely I do that? not. Am I lighting up my nose? Am I like a? Am I like a? Woo? You're like a deep sea fish that's about to eat me. <laughs> anyway, we probably picked the two worst examples to show you of what we were grinding because this is like very uneven and wavy and it's gonna take a while to get through anyway. Yeah, and this one is not the best weld. So you can see it's like not having a great time there. It's gone through and yeah. So we'll have to re-weld that one. That but two minutes and this thing is awesome. Otherwise it would've taken me like half an hour. But Benjamin being a, a freaking, I don't know, puts a $2,000 camera, I'm not even kidding. What you guys just saw is him doing this. Like the bloody camera is like, this is the grinder and that's the camera. I'm like, what are you doing Benjamin? Use the freaking zoom on the camera from here and then zoom in. But no, he's uh, he's hell bent on destroying my two thousand dollar camera. I'm just giving them as close a show and as much as they can get for their money. You cheap skates. <laughs> what? <laughs> they don't pay any money. <laughs> they get it all for free. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get back to welding now. Yeah, I'm gonna get back. No, I'm gonna get back to welding. You get back to grinding. Sorry guys, we'll, we'll be back in a while. Everybody, you remember how Loki was telling you those grinding discs are really good and they work fast? Oh wait, wait, wait! I turned my light off. I turned my light off. No, they, they were really good, and I just done an AA run. Um, I don't know they if I can show you. They work so good on human skin. 
I uh, may have taken out the top of my finger, but it's okay. I only just got the top of my skin and then it was more ripped my nail apart than anything, so. If you remove the nerves as well, it doesn't Yeah, hurt. I can't feel it right now, so I'm good. Right, Benjamin? Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Guys, these do actually come in handy. Don't I be probably silly. Need, I probably, yeah. Yeah, get, get yourself one of these, they are handy. Yeah, I don't care, it's just a grinder. It was a brand new grinding disc. I only use it on my car, so if I get infected, it I blame the 32. Probably gonna infect the grinding disc. Yeah. Death by yeah, with reckless behavior. <laughs> All right, we'll come back after she's patched. Wait, up. wait, 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 wait. I have to disclaimer: we did pull off the uh, the guard off the grinder. I prefer to not use the grinding guards and be very careful. Obviously, I was not very careful tonight. Well, I was, but I screwed up, so I'll just take that. You can have a grinding guard on and still screw yeah, up. Yeah, you you went through the grinding guard, went through your leg. It's my fault. I take the blame. It happens. I'm just gonna keep going. As Anakin Skywalker would say in Fod Racer. Actually, that wasn't Anakin, it was that other dude that was Anakin's main nemesis with the bottles. Fixed <laughs> 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 Do you remember you're a you're a Star are you a Star Wars geek? No. Damn it. I don't remember his name. Was it that guy? Maybe it was another I don't know. I was just playing Nintendo 64 Pod Racer and I just remember he goes, fixed when the engines blow up and then you fix them while you're racing and She's lost too much blood. No, I haven't. I don't... <laughs> it's a good game. We were playing Nintendo 64 last night. We uh, introduced my friend to Micro Machines. Oh, banger. It was banger hilarious. But we, we had to put it on five times speed. <laughs> Nothing on that is flat whatsoever. And this is not meant to be like a museum piece. This is not like a full rest or anything. This is a drift car. It was a drift missile. So anything to clean it up just a little bit, I'm happy with. Like, I'm not trying to make it perfect. This guy here. I moved on to this guy. Let me turn this brightness down. Sorry, the guys are fresh washing the uh, heater core of the 300ZX and it's full of mud. Bit of an angle, I figured out the angle of the grinder by this point. I was like, oh, okay, well, the, the grinding disc is not perfectly flat. It's actually kind of, uh, sorry, my finger can't really do this. It's not perfectly flat, it's kind of curved. Uh, so where you put pressure on that disc changes. So unlike any disc I've actually used. So again, learning curve on these guys. This is all, again, really thin, and I'd rather just put a little bit of extra bog than go through the metal. Good on that one. Um, and I started doing these firewall ones, which, with all this kind of ribbing here, it makes it really hard to get a round disc in there. You can see with that one, so I'm not even gonna try and get that with that disc. Um, I did get that one, but you can see how much I had to hack this off, and it's just gonna look weird, so I don't wanna keep doing that. Uh, that one worked, that one, nice and fine. Cut that one out. Same with that one. I think that heat spot to like the reaction of the uh, the weld, like the, the filler that we used. Cause I, I swear I wasn't going that hard on those. Um, I did hit that a little bit, that's okay. Got that guy. And started on this guy. And then as I was doing this guy just then, I um, cable management, oh, I moved the uh, cables cause they come out here and they weren't going this way. So they're behind me. I turned around, pulled the cable across me get onto this side because I'm left-handed so to put the cables around over here and uh, the little pluggy dude down here got caught on the edge of here and ripped the wiring out of the angle grinder this is an old crappy angle grinder uh, and the back of this wasn't really supported anyway as you can see there so it just kind of fell out good good old faithful this thing has been with us for quite a while done a lot of things earlier tonight it was uh hacking up that um, cross member. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a... Concord! No, it is Michael with a hammer. Hey! <laughs> We've been doing some uh, more massaging. I've never broken anything in my life. So, uh, anyone ever wants to put a JZ in a 300ZX, your speedo sensor is not your friend. Only if you use the stock box. Yes, if you use the 32 box. Bash that. <laughs> so, um, Michael's currently hitting that and a couple of other tiny little bits here because we've just done several fittings of the box. This side's not too bad. But this guy right here, that guy there sticks out quite a long way and does hit the uh, 
tunnel. Ah, I see where it's going. I think it's already slightly yeah, redesigned or notched to begin with. Okay. You can see there. So that's a VVTI pan on a non VVTI to get the, the extra curve to fit the uh, modified so cross member that yeah, they've done in the front here. Because this hasn't got that, and this side has got that. Click, 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 click against that. I was going to start pulling this out tonight, but I've been helping the guys the last few hours just positioning that motor, getting it in and out, and trying to line it up so we can make the engine mounts and the gearbox mount. 32 is packed away. 300 ZX is packed away and it's one in the morning so we are going to go to bed uh, and resume this I don't know tomorrow the next day whenever we'll get it done get it done soon see how my finger feels tomorrow and hopefully get the uh, air gun out very soon and spoil the spray gun then paint it and I want to do the undersides of the wheel wells as well because they're gross Update? Yeah, it's an update. That's an update. <laughs> That's the wrap up for tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.